Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today's video is one that is very, I don't want to say difficult for me to make, but it's one that I've kind of put off because it's very personal. I really feel lucky that we have such amazing subscribers, but it's just always hard to kind of cross over that line from into really personal information. But I wanted to share this video today because I feel like, first of all, a lot of people have asked us kind of how the twins came to be. I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant with twin girls, and as many of you know if you've watched our channel for a long time, I've mentioned before that I struggled with um, secondary infertility. We've never really gone into specifics on our uh, channel or anything about our infertility issues, and I probably am not really gonna do that in today's video either. Uh, we do have two girls that are biological children that are 10 and eight, and then we have struggled with basically secondary infertility for a little over two years, uh, trying to conceive what we hoped to be our final baby to round out our family. So what I wanna share with you guys today is our journey and how we came to be pregnant with twins. Again, if you're new to our channel, we do have our two biological daughters, and then we have three children that have joined our family through adoption. So I'm just gonna kinda jump into what brought us to this point. Last fall, like I said, we had approached about two years of dealing with infertility. We were really struggling with what to do next. And in all the years I've kind of been in adoption circles, I had heard people mention something about embryo adoption. And it was never something that we had really looked into because we didn't know that we couldn't get pregnant. And also at the time, you know, we were in the process of our other adoptions from China and from the Congo and domestic adoption, you know. It just wasn't something that was ever really super high on our radar. Well, after two years of, like I said, after two years of infertility, we were kind of at a point where we were like, okay, it's time to start looking at our options. And while we looked at many different options, lots and lots of different options, um, when we kind of started researching embryo adoption, we felt like this might be a really, really good fit for us. So basically, if you don't know what that is, I've actually been surprised by how many people did not know what embryo adoption was. And let me just say that everyone in our family, everyone in our personal life, people we interact with on a daily basis, our friends, that kind of thing, they already know this story. So I'm sharing this now for you guys, subscribers and our friends kind of in internet land. So if you don't know what embryo adoption is, basically when couples go through the IVF process, a lot of times they will end up with more embryos than they can or want to use. Sometimes people get really, really lucky when they do IVF and they, and they end up with, you know, 10, 15 embryos and they don't intend to have that many children. And so they're left with few choices. It's either, you know, pay to keep them on ice indefinitely, um, destroy them, or you can adopt them out to another couple. And so that's basically what we did. We, we adopted embryos. I wanna be sure to share as much information as I can with you guys. So I am actually gonna do a blog post with links to some resources. If this is something that you're interested in and you really wanna know more about I'm not gonna get too specific about the hows and all of that kind of stuff, the hows, the whys, the, you know, all that. But I will do a blog post with a lot of resource links below. Also basically allows you to carry your adopted children. If your desire, if your heart's desire is to be pregnant, then this is a way that you can potentially carry and give birth to your adopted child. It's pretty amazing. And like I said, I'm gonna link down below some other like videos and stories and stuff about embryo adoption so you guys can kind of go check out other people's stories. I did actually film some vlog style videos along the way through our journey and I've kind of compiled those into one video which I will also link down below. I'm going to put it as an unlisted video so the only way you'll be able to see it is through the link down below if you are really interested in more of the details and kind of following that story from transferring embryos until finding out we were pregnant. That's all kind of in that video and I do talk more in detail about it in, in that video but um, what I will say is that when we were looking to be matched with um, embryos to adopt, we were looking for a very small one or two embryos. We weren't looking to, because these, this was meant to be our last baby, not our first baby or how we were going to continue to grow our family or anything. So that was one thing that was really important to us is we didn't want to then have to make decisions for, we adopted a, you know, a, a group of embryos and say there was five in there. Um, 
we didn't want to have to be responsible for making the decisions for what happened to the rest of them that we didn't use. So in the end, we ended up being matched with a set of two embryos, much to our shock and surprise. After we did transfer, we found I was pregnant with both of them, which might seem like a duh thing to some people. They might be like, well, of course you put in two and so you got pregnant with two. But really, if you've ever been in the infertility world, you know that many, many, many people transfer two embryos and don't conceive at all or only conceive one. It's not as common as you'd think to put in two and actually end up with twins. We were definitely very surprised by that, <laughs> a little shocked because again, after two years of infertility, we didn't really, I hate to say this, but we didn't even really think this would work either. We hoped that it would work, but we didn't expect it to work. And this was kind of our last like, hurrah, this was gonna be it. We'd kind of come to the end of the line of figuring out how to overcome our infertility issues. We were definitely very surprised when we found out that both of them took and that we were pregnant with twins. And the other thing is a lot of times the embryos won't survive the thawing process. So we felt really comfortable with a set of two because we felt like, okay, if one of them doesn't survive the thawing process, then we still have another one to transfer. And, and the day of the transfer, when we found out that they both had thawed well and looked good, we were kind of like, okay, well that's, you know, first hurdle. But again, we never really expected that we would actually conceive and be pregnant with both of them. But here we are, 23 weeks later, we are thrilled and excited. And we've wanted to share this for so long with you guys because we are just so thankful and honored and blessed to be these girls' parents. It's a pretty amazing thing, in my opinion, when science and God can kind of come together and create these, you know, two babies. And our family who desired to have another child gets to have one. And these two little girls who were essentially um, frozen on ice for the last few years are now gonna be part of our family and have brothers and sisters. And our kids are so excited. Our kids know we've been really open with them. To be honest, I don't know how much the little, our younger children understand, but our older girls, we've explained everything to them. They understand. They know that they're getting two new little sisters and mommy's growing them in her tummy, but they're not gonna look like us necessarily. They're not necessarily gonna look like Kennedy and Shelby. I know it's something that we will get asked. You know, do we know anything about the genetic parents? And we do, and just like with our other adoptions, you know, we're leaving the girls' information private. So yeah, so hopefully you guys can understand that there's a lot of there's a lot of private parts of this, of this story and of the girl's story and things like that that we're not gonna share um, for their protection and, and all of that. We did wanna share with you guys the fact that we are so thankful and grateful and blessed to be having these two girls through what we consider to be a great miracle that is embryo adoption. Like I said, I will have a blog post down below with more resources if you're interested in knowing more. And I will also have that video linked down below if you wanna kind of follow along a little more of my journey. Just kind of more like how the process went, if that makes sense. Thank you guys so much for always loving and supporting us. We feel so grateful to have such amazing subscribers and you guys definitely feel like part of our family and we are very excited to share this with you. We're excited to meet these girls and see what they look like. I know you guys are excited to meet them too, so not too much longer. I mean, I'd like them to bake a while longer. I'm guessing about three months from now, we're all gonna get to meet these precious little girls. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following along our journey. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we will see you guys again very soon. Bye.